There are two important questions to answer when planning a drain gauge installation. First, how deep do you need to install it? If you are trying to look at deep drainage or conduct water balance estimates, the drain gauge will need to be installed below the root zone. You'll need to consider the type of vegetation on the surface and its rooting depth. If the drain gauge isn't placed deep enough in these situations, water that would normally be transpired by root systems can be mistakenly measured as deep drainage. In other applications, such as for crops with shallow root systems or in places lacking any vegetation, the top of the divergence control tube can be placed at the surface. Consult the user manual for more information about selecting a depth. The second question, will you be able to get an undisturbed soil core or is a repacked monolith suitable for your application? An intact monolith is always preferred because it provides a representative sample of the native soil's structure and hydraulic properties. However, it is always fairly difficult to collect and in some cases, like in very rocky soil, it can be impossible. On the other hand, a disturbed or repacked monolith is much easier to get. Its disadvantage, of course, is that you may create hydraulic discontinuity from the native soil, increasing the chance for water to be artificially diverted from or directed towards the drain gauge. Once those questions are out of the way, you are ready to start digging. If you've decided to get a repacked monolith, skip to step two for now. You'll pack the DCT with soil from your installation site once the whole apparatus is in the ground. If you're collecting an intact monolith, carefully select an area with the same vegetation and soil horizons as where you are going to install the drain gauge. You'll want it to be at least a few meters away from your installation site, since that site needs to remain as close to a natural state as possible. If the top of the DCT is not going to be at surface level, dig down to the depth you need. Force the DCT down with machinery or a sledgehammer and buffer board. In either method, scraping the soil away from the pipe as it gets further down makes your job much easier. When the DCT is all the way down, dig it out and set it aside. Since you want to disturb the measurement site as little as possible during installation, prepare a tarp to collect the soil and vegetation from the surface. Then remove the vegetation, keeping it arranged the same way you found it. Dig with an auger or by hand with a shovel or post hole digger to your desired depth. In this demonstration, we used a large auger to fit the DCT into, and then used a smaller auger at one side of that hole to dig deeper for the wick section. That's optional, however. Bring your monolith over to the installation site and wrap the top of it with something to keep the soil intact. Then flip it upside down so that the lower soil crust is at the top. Cover the surface of the soil with diatomaceous earth. Attach the wick segment of the instrument to the DCT with pipe clamps. Now invert the whole apparatus. Warning, the wick segment will break if used as a pivot. Make sure that you pick it up completely and then rotate it in the air. Use ropes or straps to lower the instrument into the hole. Now that the instrument is in the ground, if you did not get an undisturbed soil core at the beginning, you'll need to pack the DCT with soil from the installation hole. If the soil contained markedly different horizons, Pack them into the DCT in the same order you found them. Tamp it down to roughly the native soil density. Attach the water sampling tube to the water level sensor so that the end of the tube is flush with the end of the sensor. Feed the sensor and sampling tube into the pipe. Check that the sensor is reading properly. Now prime the drain gauge by adding about 500 milliliters of water through the access tube. Then remove as much of the water as you can through the sample tube using the included pump. Install soil moisture sensors in the DCT or the whole walls. In a typical installation, the pipe will run straight up to the surface. Another option is to run the pipe horizontally below the surface to the edge of the field. This makes it more difficult if the sensor ever needs to be replaced, but it is necessary in some locations, such as farmland where tractors drive over the installation site. Now fill the hole back in, add soil in layers, tamping down each layer to approximate the bulk density of the native soil. Replace the vegetation you removed at the beginning. Finally, attach the sensors to a logger and check again that everything is reading properly. That covers what you need to know for a typical installation. Please call our application scientists anytime to discuss your specific project considerations. You can also find more information on our website.